The military decision-making process is a planning methodology to understand the situation and mission, develop a course of action, and produce an operation plan or order. MDMP facilitates a process where two or more echelons can plan for the same operation at the same time. We call this parallel planning. MDMP also promotes collaborative planning, where two or more echelons plan together in real time. MDMP has seven steps, each step having a specific purpose, inputs, substeps, and outputs. So in the following series, we're going to break down each step in a way that could help you during your MDMP session, or at least help simplify some of the steps. Now you can reference ADP 5.0 for this, but the best publication to have handy during this process is the Staff Reference Guide, Volume 2, ATP 5-0.2-1. So the first step is receipt of the mission. And to explain this, I'm going to go in reverse order. At the end of this step, you'll have 1. Published or vocalize the commander's initial guidance. 2. Send out the initial timeline. And then you will have done this in 3. Your warning order. Now to do this, You'll either have received the higher headquarters plan or order, or you anticipate a new mission. Before you start working on the staff's outputs, let's talk about the commander's initial guidance. In the staff reference guide, there's the example of the commander's initial guidance worksheet. Remember parallel planning. This worksheet is a tool in which maybe the top five can work on. The commander XO, command star major, the three, and the ops star major may all discuss while the rest of the staff begins their work on the substeps. So one, alert the staff and other key participants. Pretty straightforward, just remember that this usually comes from the current operations officer, the co-ops chief. Second, gather all the tools you'll need. This includes the doctrinal publications you might need and consider connectivity issues, so you might need a hard copy. Other tools include the higher headquarters plan or order, terrain products, unit SOPs or higher SOPs. Third, update your running estimates. We have another Doctrine Digest video on this, so here I'm just going to give you a technique that you'll find in the staff reference guide. It's called the three column drill. In the first column, you wanna list the fact, assumption, or constraint that you wanna analyze. And in the second column, you wanna list why the factor is important, the so what. And in the conclusion column, list all the necessary additional actions or products for example, planning guidance, tasks, graphic control measures that you might need. So here's the example. Our factor, or the so what, currently we have 200,000 gallons of fuel on hand for the brigade. Our deduction, or the so what, the brigade can only maneuver for 24 more hours. Our conclusion, or recommendation, Request from division an additional 400,000 gallons of fuel and create a limit of advance to avoid culmination. Four, the commander and staff conduct an initial assessment so that they can determine how much time they have till execution. Staff experience, cohesiveness, and the level of rest or stress is all considered. Guidance on this planning approach, you may not have time for a full MDMP in which there are other alternatives such as the rapid decision-making process. Are there any outside organizations that need to be contributing to the plan? You may need to sit down with your enablers or you may need to sit down with your supported unit and talk to them. The staff reference guide also has a generic planning timeline template in there as well. Step five, issue the commander's initial planning guidance. Already covered the worksheet and that will help during this process. Number six, issue the warno. This order includes as much information as the staff knows at the time. So remember, this is only a warning order. It's not an operations order. Be thorough, but you won't have perfect information. So don't sit around waiting for all your questions to be answered. Work with what you got and inform your formations. Also, if you're in a subordinate formation, understand that the higher headquarters staff is probably doing all they can with what information they have. So what could you be doing? Remember to update your running estimates. Okay, so that's step one of the MDMP process, receipt of mission, and all the sub-steps you need to accomplish in order to get the commander's guidance out, the timeline out, and the warn -up. Again, download the staff reference guide from the Army Publishing Directorate website at armypubs.army.mil.